Alright guys, we're back. It's uh, 5.54 and my buddy Tim uh, just put a wasp through one of uh, our target mature bucks. I do recall curly brow. Um, anyway, super proud for him. Hopefully we have a good shot and a good recovery. And um, again, hopefully uh, two tags used tonight. So anyways, congrats Tim and uh, hope for a speedy recovery. Josh, back there is Kyle on the beach. Well, good morning guys, it is November 1st and uh, to say that we've been waiting for this day for a long time would be an understatement. It's been an awesome morning, seen quite a few bucks, one mature buck that we know pretty well and then uh, another good four year old that we call Split G3. Don't really have a creative name for him yet, but definitely an awesome deer and one to keep an eye on for the coming years. We're set up on that green plot. Um, that we've we've been on this plot almost every day except one evening and uh, just to kind of bring you up to speed as you saw in that little montage so far it's been a heck of a trip uh, starting with day one had good movement saw a couple of good bucks including that really young three-year-old that split g2 buck and uh, we didn't see it but day two is when all the action happened out of respect for the landowner, that big deer that we've been talking about, we did encounter him. It was intense, and he's an absolute giant. But you guys are going to have to wait until that story comes to a close before we get to show you that footage. And that same night, um, again, unfortunately not going to be able to see it because we're going to be showing it to you next week on the show. Tim, Lee's friend, was able to actually harvest one of the bucks that we know very, very well on this farm. So. Day two was a great day, uh, that was October 30th, and um, so yeah, between those first couple of days and today's action, it's been an awesome trip so far, so unfortunately I'm going to have to go ahead and get down, it's about 9.30, and as much as I would love to sit all day with Lee, it is Sunday, which means I do have to go produce tomorrow's show, uh, very excited to bring you guys that too, Max could not be more deserving of the buck, and uh, one thing I wanted to mention, you know, leaving like this, basically I'm going to be going directly to our south, up a hill, out a field, and then that'll get me to the road. So minimal damage as far as, you know, intrusion and scaring any deer that Lee's going to be hunting. And uh, hopefully I can get enough work done that I'll be back in the stand by the evening hunt. We'll see what happens. Keep you updated as the day goes.
speed this hunt this really quick hunt tim and i got in the stand at like 4 30 decided to come i've been editing the show today and we're like heck why not let's go out and try to shoot a doe maybe we could film some bucks not only did we just film the bean buck which is the deer on the last blog that i told you we were trying to find back and they came right by us under the tree and i can hear them down to our west he's grunting behind her so what we're gonna try to do is get out of here pack up and get gone because he's over here to the west that could not have worked out any better thank you tim for being with me awesome man Sweet. and uh that is iowa november that is exactly what you ask for right there as a while you put in all the work during the summer off season get these things ready and we got deer all around us so we're gonna try to get out of here without him knowing heck of a night guys heck of a night